Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Pori, a family and sports chiropractor in Whitby, Ontario, and I've been in practice for nearly 30 years. In this video blog, I'll be talking about your spine and the springtime. If you're like most other people in Canada, you tend to shut down your activity levels in the winter time to a great extent. When the spring arrives, there's a big push to get back outdoors to enjoy the weather uh, and many outdoor activities like cycling, golf, jogging, and gardening. There's really something for everyone. While your mind thinks it's ready to go, your body and your spine have been hibernating for the last few months and muscles have shortened and lost some of their strength and flexibility. It's essential that you warm up for all physical activities, including gardening, or you may wind up with a lot of pain from stresses and strains. So take it easy. As the, Chiro as the Ontario Chiropractic Association says, there's going to be lots of beautiful days ahead. In general, before jumping in, into any activity, it's a great idea to consult a chiropractor or fitness expert regarding some of your personal fitness goals as well as getting a well-balanced workout program. Let them know whether you're training for a specific goal or are just uh, anxious not to hurt yourself. Tell them about any current or old injuries that you have uh, and have a chat about dietary considerations which may help or hinder uh, some of your plans. There may also be, uh, they may also be able to offer some ideas about cross training. Cross training is adding activities which are unrelated to your activity but which can train you without repeatedly using the same muscles and joints to the point of injury. Sometimes cross training is used to, sti to stimulate the same muscles in a new or different way or even offer training uh, of some muscles while injured ones are rested. Regardless of your goals, the following are the key elements of every well-balanced fitness program. 1. Cardio endurance. How well do your heart and lungs supply oxygen to your body? You build this by regularly doing a minimum of 15 to 20 minutes of activity like running, walking, swimming, biking, or even ballroom dancing. 2. Muscular endurance. How can your body repeat a movement or hold a position? How long can it do this? Weight training, body resistance exercises, or, or other activities that work muscles can help build muscle endurance. 3. Muscle strength. How much weight can your can you comfortably uh, lift in a, in a safe manner? Obviously, there are, there are a number of activities that can help here, but lifting weights is fundamental uh, in developing strength. Fourth element is flexibility. How limber is your body? When your chiropractor did your first assessment, this was one of the, one of the, the key things checked to determine the reason for your injury or the likelihood of future injuries. Activities like yoga, uh, as well as a program of stretches will help you increase and maintain your flexibility. Five, body composition. The ratio of fat to bone and muscle in your body. There are guidelines based on height and weight, uh, height, weight, and body type, but in general, men should carry ideally 10 to 15 percent body fat, while women should try to limit it to less than 22 percent. As I said before, speak to a fitness consultant about which activities will address your needs safely. A chiropractor will be uh, able to guide you in selecting activities which will avoid old injuries. And if you have committed to a gym membership, consult the staff about the proper way to use the equipment there. So why is exercise important to your back? Exercising regularly has benefits for your entire body, obviously, including your back. Weight-bearing exercises like hiking, uh, brisk walking, stair climbing, and dancing strengthen your bones and may protect you against osteoporosis, which is a serious disease that results in the deterioration of bone mass. This can start occurring as early as your 30s. Strong abdominal muscles are essential for back health. An oversized waistline will be accompanied by weak muscles in the abdomen, which also means that the organs and the lower spine are not being held correctly inside your body. You don't have to train like an Olympic athlete, but even a little activity three times a week can go a long way 
in improving your overall health and well-being. Here are 10 tips from the OCA to help keep your spine healthy. 1. Regularly exercise. That means at least three times a week, not once a month. 2. Follow a healthy diet. Avoid saturated fats or overdoing amounts of any food. 3. Maintain good posture. Attach an imaginary string to your breastbone and give it a pull whenever you can. 4. Stretch your spine before and after all sports. 5. Don't overlook or don't overload your backpack or shoulder bag. 6. Stretch your legs and back after each hour of sitting. It's a good idea to just get up and walk around if you're a uh, if you spend your day working at a desk. 7. Don't cradle your phone between your neck and your shoulder. 8. Sleep on your side or your back, never your stomach. 9. Invest in the best pillow or mattress you can afford. It's worth it. 10. Have regular spinal checkups. Uh, try to see your chiropractor at least once every three months. Hey, that's all for this time. I'm Dr. Mark Pori, and you can get more information about my office and how to make it, how to make an appointment with me by going to my website at www.drporey.com. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you the next time.